All right, guys, I'm just going to be talking to you guys about a uh, cheap by case image that I've got going on here. I'm going to have this available for download on Arcade Punks, and I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. I'm just going to quickly give you guys an overview of what's on this image and uh, show you guys how to get it installed as well. So once I kind of show you what's on there, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my computer and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to load it up and how to get up your uh, Wi-Fi working. So as you can see, we've got the Game Boy Zero splash screen coming up. I've decided to build this with RetroPie 4.3 just because it loads a lot faster when you're on the Raspberry Pi Zero or Zero W. There's a few different features that I have installed on here, and once I get it up and running, I'll show that to you guys. Okay, so now that we're up and running, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the volume up so you guys can hear that there is background music playing, and that's completely customizable. You guys can pretty much put in whatever you want. Uh, there is a folder called Music right in the ROMs section, and you can just replace the music with whatever file you want. Okay, and I'm going to put that back down. And we're just going to go through all the different ROMs that are available on here. So we've got the Atari 2600 with 636 games. We've got the Atari 7800 with 65 games. We've got the Atari Lynx with 82 games. We've got the Nintendo Disk System with 78 games. Then we start getting into some of the handhelds with Game Gear, 282 games. Game Boy, which is going to have 599 games. Game Boy Advance, which has 871 games. Game Boy Color, which is 581 games. Then we're back into consoles with Sega Master System, 385 games. The Mega Drive, or the Genesis, 818 games. We've got Neo Geo running on this thing with 137 games. Then we've got our NES Classics, uh, 1,081 games. We've got Turbo Graphics or PC Engine, which is going to be 327 games. Our RetroPie settings, the Sega SG-1000 with 88 games, and then finally our Super Nintendo running 981 games. So that is all loaded up on here, ready for you guys to go. Everything's been configured properly and all the games run properly. One thing I'm gonna show you guys is I uh, loaded up on here a theme that's really easy to see on small screens. So that's gonna make playing on the, uh, the GPI case much nicer. Uh, when you actually click on it, you're gonna see all the box arts are already preloaded and you're pretty much ready to go. This build could very easily be uh, installed on a, a Raspberry Pi Zero rather than the W uh, because you no longer need to connect to the internet unless you want to add or remove games. So you're pretty much good to go though. Uh, everything that you would want is going to be on here and you're going to be able to play it right out the, right out the gate. So. The only other thing that I wanted to show you guys really quickly is I included the Easy Hacks Toolkit, which is on here as well, which allows you to do a bunch of different things like add video splash screens, which we've already done. You can flip the, the Sega Genesis and the PC um, graphics, so that's an option if you want to do that. Uh, you can install background music, which I've already done. Now, I didn't use this to install the background music. Uh, the one that I've installed is a custom script. I've done a video on it in the past, and it works really well. It kind of fades out as you're loading an emulator and fades back in when you've exited the game, and it does all that properly. Uh, you can install power button. Again, all of these other features are just stock with this uh, Easy Hacks Toolkit. So it is there for you to fuss around with if you want. Um, but that's pretty much it for the build itself. Uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to switch over to the computer and I'm gonna show you guys really quickly how to configure your Wi-Fi so that way you don't have to worry about it. As soon as you pop it in, your Wi-Fi will be pre-configured and you'll be able to access it over the network. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that switch over now.
All right, guys, so we're back on our computer here. Uh, I just want to say that this build is going to give you pretty much everything that you need to get running on your GPI key. So you don't need to install the on off power buttons uh, script. You don't need to uh, load up any games. You don't need to do anything. Everything's ready to go. You don't need to configure your keyboard. It's all uh, pretty much done and uh, ready to go. You load the image, uh, pop the SD card into your Pi Zero, pop it into your GPI case, turn it on, and you're ready to start playing. So essentially it's really simple all we need to do is uh get our image and i've already got my image here let me just find it so i've got my image right here the nostalgia gpi shrunk uh, and then you're just going to use a software like etcher or win32 disk imager and you're going to write that image to a 32 gig sd card uh, the image has been pre-shrunk, so that's really handy. It will fit on any 32 gig SD card. Uh, a lot of times you'll download a 32 gig image and it won't fit because the person who created it didn't shrink it down and get rid of all of the, um, the extra space. That's already happened and it's all complete, so you don't have to worry about that. Any 32 gig, um, regardless of whether or not it's slightly bigger or slightly smaller, 32 gig cards will all work. You just need to load them up onto that. And then once it's done writing, I'm not gonna go ahead and go through the process because it takes like 30 minutes to write the image. Uh, but once that's done, you can load up your SD card and what it'll show you in right away in here is that all of your files have been written in uh, and you can see it's all in there. What you need to do is you need to have this file here and it's called, uh, it's essentially a, a wireless um, configuration tool. So actually I'm going to open this, right click it with Notepad++ and what I'll do is I'm going to include this uh, this file that I've created here, uh, I'll include a link to it in the description down below that will allow you guys to just download it right from a, a Google Drive and then you guys just need to edit it and then load it up onto your SD card. So you'll download this file here from the link below and then you're going to open it in Notepad++ and then right here I've written in here your SSID which is the name of your network. So if the name of your network is network123 you're just going to type it in exactly how it is actually spelt and then below here where it's PSK uh, and I put your SSID password here you just have to remove that and within the uh, the quotations you're gonna put in the password for your network and it is case sensitive everything has to be exactly the way it's supposed to be and then depending on your location so country equals US so that's USA and Canada uh, if you're in the UK you're gonna put UK if you're in China you're gonna put CN things like that, but uh, you're pretty much good to go the way it is. Uh, then what you're going to do is you're just going to click file and you're going to save it. Uh, obviously, I didn't change anything, so it won't allow me to save it. Uh, once it's saved, you can close it. Then you can open up your SD card and then you just click here and you drag it onto your SD card and then that's it. You eject your SD card, pop it into your Raspberry Pi and uh, turn it on and you're gonna be pre-configured with your power button, with your button mapping, uh, all the games and everything is gonna be set up there. You've got your background music and your Wi-Fi is gonna be working. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoy the image. If you give it a shot, let me know in the comment section uh, what you like about it, what you don't like about it. I'd love to hear from you guys. But other than that, subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you guys again real soon.